So this week, I have another 1960s classic cover, in addition to two premium covers, with one selling for more than $1,000. Stay tuned for the video. Anachronic. Hi, comic book guys and gals. I'm Joe, and welcome to Anachronic Comics. This week's top cover from the 1960s is Batman 156. Nowadays, we know that if a character dies, he or she will likely come back. But that wasn't the case in June of 1963 when this comic came out. However, it was likely that when you saw any cover, it was a bit of a stretch. Although this cover actually reflected what Batman experienced in the story. The cover of Batman 156, known as Robin Dies at Dawn, shows Robin dead pretty alarming for a comic that was published in the 1960s. The cover was drawn by Sheldon Moldoff. Now, Moldoff was one of the ghost artists and uncredited collaborators for Bob Kane's Batman from 1953 to 1967. He has since been credited with creating some well-known Batman characters, including Ace the Bat-Hound, Batmite, Zebra Man, and he was also the co-creator of long-running Batman villain Poison Ivy. The story, however, shows that Batman volunteered to participate in a military experiment to test the long-term effects of isolation. So as a result of the isolation, Batman starts to hallucinate where Robin is killed. The hallucinations basically force Batman to retire because he couldn't cope anymore with the hallucinations and being Batman. Now, when a criminal group abducts Robin, Batman feels he's got to come out of retirement, and he does, and he rescues Robin. And when he does that, the hallucinations stop. Now, interestingly, the storyline was repeated somewhat by Grant Morrison in the series Batman R.I.P. Two pretty amazing premium covers this week. The first is from Dynamite, Jennifer Blood number one, the Cover Q Perillo Metal Premium for $100. Now, Perillo never disappoints. If you like the cover, but not the price, you can pick up the non-metal version cover for $50 and the trade dress for $3.99. The second premium cover on this week's top covers list is from Archie Comics. Archie Halloween Spectacular 2021 Stadium Comics Pop Art Exclusive Variant by Nuno Pereira. Here we have Betty dressed as Wonder Woman for Halloween, perhaps as a tribute to Wonder Woman's 80th anniversary. From what I can see, it appears that Archie Comics is limiting this cover to $250 and listing it for $1,499. Now, if this is accurate, this is the highest priced variant cover I have ever seen. If you know of one higher, let me know in the comments. Now, I just noticed that I have a black and white theme for this week's honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is Green Lantern number no. 7, cover B, the Santucci cardstock variant for $599. These portrait variants are super cool and display beautifully on any comic book room wall. Next up is War of the Bounty Hunters number no. 5, the McDivin Carbonite variant for $4.99. Another black and white variant. Look carefully at the terrain that Boba Fett is flying over. What do you see? Next is from Bad Idea, the lot number no. 4 with the cover price of $5.99. I couldn't locate the artist for this cover, another piece of art that you need to inspect to fully appreciate. Next is from American Mythology, Zorro Fights No. 1, Cover D, the limited edition black and white photo cover. Now I had to pick this one as I was a big fan of the Disney series way back in the late 50s and early 60s, starring Guy Williams as Zorro, shown in this photograph. He was kind of a Batman for the Spanish-controlled California in the 1820s, even so far as his secret identity as a rich playboy, Don Diego de la Vega. The last time we'll mention this week is Arkham City, The Order of the World, number one, the cover C, Beach, 1 in 25 incentive black and white cardstock variant for $4.99. This black and white cover is a feast for the eyes. There is so much going on. If the cover is any indication, this limited series may be worthwhile picking up. Now, on to my top five covers for New Comic Book Day, October 6th, 
2021. Number five is from Blue Juice Comics, Billy the Kit, number one, the John Gallagher variant for $3.99. Now this comic introduces us to Billy the Kit, featuring a gunslinging rabbit seeking revenge against the tornado god that killed his family. The cover is an homage to a famous photo of Billy the Kid. Number four is Batman number 114, cover B, the Molina card stork variant for $5.99. Now, I stopped reading Batman around the time his wedding with Catwoman fell through, so I don't know who this character is within the story, although there was a crime lord way back in the day called Stork. I do know that Molina gives us some great cover artwork on this issue. Number three, is Dark Ages number two, the Alan Qua variant B for $3.99. It looks like we're going to have a series of these Spider-Man characters with larger-than-life webbing in an homage to Spider-Man 300. Qua does Spider-Man 300 proud here. For number two, I selected the Amazing Spider-Man number 75, the Gleason Webhep variant for $3.99. Now, I agree with some of you that have left comments on my past picks that Gleason's Webhead series is definitely overdoing it. But I give him credit for changing the approach as he does here with the web not only giving us Spider-Man's mask, but spelling out the amazing Spider-Man as well. One talented web-making spider here. Finally, my number one top cover for New Comic Book Day, October 6, 2021, is Defenders number three, the Joe Jusco variant for $3.99. What a great portrait of the Submariner, regal in appearance in his domain. I love the background and the bluish color which helps make the Submariner pop out, as well as the large angelfish swimming in the foreground. Definitely a frameable cover. Remember to leave a comment on the covers I picked and whether you would buy any one based solely on the cover art. So many covers, so little cash. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be well, and I'll see you soon.